Well, hey guys, we're gonna have some fun as I give you a quick update on a well-known and well-loved design, the K-Bar Dozer. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last decade, the K-Bar Dozer is an amazing little value folder. For years, we've had it with OS 8 steel. Uh, it's a light Zytel handle material, lockback design. There's lots of different blade shapes and color combinations. And it's completely ambidextrous. This one currently in the OS 8 version is my favorite because it's got the kind of cool, a little bit of a more, I don't know, spear point, if you will, blade shape. And then that nice little oval thumb hole for deployment. And it's not going to break the bank at around $20. Well, it's only taken them forever, but they've upgraded the steel and given us some cool color combinations in the D2 version of the K-Bar Dozer. I just picked this up recently over at GP Knives for $28. I will have a link for you guys below, and I'm sure as they become more available. But for under $30, you're now getting it in D2 steel, so for $8 more than basically this version. Uh, and this one kind of has this cool tan bronzed look to it. And then kind of a, I don't know, like a smoke blue. It's not a baby blue. It's like a smoke blue kind of. Got a little bit hints of violet probably in there. I don't know. This is their hunter point shape with the thumb stud that you can unscrew and swap. And again, the pocket clip is ambidextrous. I do hope that they do some more color combinations right now. This is the color that is available. And I do hope that they release it also in the thumb hole, uh, more spear point version as well. Not that this is bad, I love it. Three inches, comes in at under three ounces. Uh, just a great little workhorse of a blade, but now with better edge retention. Uh, the edge geometry was good for me, worked well. I heard a couple people right out of the gate that maybe got some dull ones as they were probably just starting out production, but uh, had no issues with the edge geometry on this bad boy. And again, you're gonna get a lot longer edge retention than you will on the OS 8. So you won't have to resharpen as often. So very happy to see all that. Still made in Taiwan and coming in at under $30, I think is a great upgrade to the Dozer series and look forward to just seeing more color combinations. And again, hopefully with the thumb uh, hole as well for maybe some of you lefties who don't wanna deal with swapping thumb studs or maybe you just don't like the thumb stud, you know, and you want a different blade shape. So other than that, I mean, it's it's the K-Bar Dozer. If you don't know about it, you should, you've been living under a rock. It's lightweight, it's slim, it's from K-Bar. Uh, great functionality, great options, and uh, just a sweet little blade to give to somebody or to throw in your regular rotation that you can beat on. If you lose it, it doesn't matter. If it breaks or you damage it beyond repair, it doesn't really matter. It's still budget. And even in the D2 model now, still budget enough that you can have a couple and put in regular rotation. So guys, thanks for watching this really quick update video. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your holidays and as we look at 2021 are going well. And I can't wait to see what the new year has in store for not only upgrades maybe in blades, but also just new uh, blades and gear and lots to, to explore and see in 2021 coming at us real soon. So uh, love you guys, you're so awesome. Check out the other video popping up. Subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And until next time, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.